Hey little readers, it is fall where I live in North Carolina and so the weather should start to be getting a little bit colder. Hasn't yet, but it should. Um, the leaves are gonna start falling off the tree. I even wore my leaf earrings today because our book is called Leaf and the Fall. And this is Leaf, our main character right here. He's so cute. And Leaf doesn't wanna fall off of the tree. He's kinda scared. He likes the tree. He's lived there his whole life. And so he doesn't want to fall off the tree. So he comes up with some ideas on how not to fall. Um, and you'll see he has some help from a friend. And I won't tell you the ending. You'll have to watch, okay? We are going to draw because we love to draw here at Storytime with Andy. So we're going to draw our little buddy leaf right here and some other leaves around him, a little acorn, that kind of thing. So grab a pencil or a crayon and a piece of paper and you'll be able to draw along with us after the book. But first, I want to say a special hello to my buddy Finn in Wilmington, North Carolina. Finn has the best smile. I'm so glad you're watching today and I hope you like this book. All right, you guys ready to fall with leaf? Let's do it. This is Leaf and the Fall by Allison Sweet Grant and Adam Grant. Leaf is a leaf, a small green leaf with browning edges who lives in a big oak tree. The breeze is blowing harder, Leaf says to himself. The days are getting shorter. It's nearly fall. Leaf knows that in the fall, leaves fall from the trees and Leaf is worried. I don't want to bump my head, Leaf says to his friend Laurel. I don't want to skin my knee. I do not want to fall. Let's figure out a way for you to catch yourself, Laurel says. All leaves fall in the fall, the other leaves say. But Leaf is determined and with Laurel's help, he comes up with a plan. The next day, Leaf and Laurel gather twigs and they build a net. Now you can use the net to catch yourself, Laurel says. But the holes in the net are too big and Leaf is too small. He would slip right through. So Leaf tosses the net to the ground below. You're wasting your time, the other leaves say. All leaves fall in the fall. <laughs> but Leaf comes up with another plan. This time Leaf and Laurel gather vine to secure Leaf to his branch. Now, no matter how strong the winds blow, you'll be able to hang on, Laurel says. But Leaf accidentally wraps himself up too tight. Help, he cries. I'll get you out, Laurel says and hurries to help Leaf wriggle free. Leaf tosses the vine to the ground below. You're wasting your time, the other leaves say. All leaves fall in the fall. But Leaf comes up with yet another plan. And this time, Leaf and Laurel build a kite out of bark and moss. You can soar your way down and land in a nice soft patch of grass, Laurel explains. But the tail of the kite gets tangled in the branches and Leaf ends up going nowhere at all. He tosses the kite to the ground below. You are wasting your time, the other leaves say. All leaves fall in the fall. But still, Leaf tries again. A swing, a trampoline, a parachute. Leaf tries everything he can think of, but none of his ideas quite work and they all end up tossed to the ground below. Leaf hangs from his branch, feeling very disappointed. And Laurel is sad too. You had a lot of good ideas, Laurel says. We told you, taunt the other leaves. You were just wasting your time. All leaves fall in the fall. Days pass, the air grows cooler and the wind blows stronger. Leaf's edges turn browner. All leaves fall in the fall, he thinks, and he feels as if he has failed. Leaf hangs from his branch, shivering and afraid. Laurel gives him a squeeze. All of a sudden, the wind churns, the branches shake, and with one large cold blast, Leaf can hang on no longer, and Leaf falls right onto his pile of discarded ideas. All the ideas that Leaf threw away, the ones he'd tossed to the ground because he thought they'd never work, 
made a structure tall enough and strong enough to stand on. Leif can't believe his eyes. He stands up and smiles. Then he grabs Laurel's hand and together they walk right down to the ground below. The end. All right, everybody out there who's ready for fall to happen. This was a great fun book about leaves. Um, and we're gonna draw the cover right here. We're gonna draw our sweet little buddy leaf. And um, you guys can follow along if you have a pencil or a pen, all that good stuff, okay? Leaves are really easy, actually. So we'll, we'll have fun with this. First, we're gonna draw um, our stem, okay? So it's really simple. It's a line coming down. It gets a little bit thicker at the bottom. Boom, done, you got your stem, okay? Now we're gonna draw a leaf and you're really just gonna go like one hump, two hump, three hump, four hump, up to the top, okay? So one, two, three, four, up to the top. And the same thing on the side, doesn't have to be exactly the same because leaves are not always symmetrical, okay? So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, up to the top, perfect. So um, a lot of leaves have what you can see is called veining. So like see these lines coming down? That's called veining of the leaf. Um, so you can draw that if you want. Maybe we'll do it with a pencil so you can like just barely see it, okay? So like you would come right up the middle and draw a vein and then maybe a couple veins coming out to each side of the leaf. Kind of like that. All right, cool. All right, now let's draw his face. He has a really simple, sweet face, right? So we're gonna draw these eyebrows, which go straight up and down. So just draw lots of lines up and down like that on each side of the middle, okay? And then we've got eyes, they're like a football-shaped eye, just like that. And color it in. There's his eyes. He has a teeny, tiny little nose, just like that. And then he has two hands coming down in the center, right? So we can draw one, just draw some fingers, and two like he's holding his, holding his hands in front of him. Oh, we forgot his cute little smile, ready? There we go. Um, all right, so there is Leaf. Um, you can draw any of these other leaves around him. You can draw an acorn, in fact, why don't we do that? We'll draw some more little leaves. So we'll do a stem right here. You can do that if you want. And then you just go one, two, kind of have it come off the page. That's an upside down leaf. You can have another leaf coming in like this. There you go. And maybe we'll attach an acorn to this one, okay? So we'll come, a little tiny stem. We'll make a semicircle, and then a big long oval down here. Tiny little dot, and then you can kind of like dot your pen on the cap of the acorn and that way you know there's like texture there so there's an acorn there's some more leaves like I said you can just kind of keep drawing leaves on this side if you want you can fill up the page with leaves if you want or not you can leave it blank all right I am gonna leave some room to draw the title of our book okay this is leaf and the fallen you can see leaf is spelled whoops Leaf is spelled differently, um, so it's not L-E-A-F, it's his name and it's L-E-I-F. L-E-I-F. Leaf and the F-A-L-L. -L. Leaf and the fall, there you go. All right, that was Leaf and the Fall. And hey, I'll tell you something. You know, um, Leaf's friend Laurel in the book, 
Laurel is named Laurel because that's also a type of tree. And so she's a laurel leaf, uh, which is kind of like a funny little joke in there. So hope you guys like that. And I hope you are enjoying fall if it's fall where you're living right now. Hey, I'd love to see those leaf pictures. So get with your mom and dad, see if they can post them on our Instagram or Facebook page. And that way I can see all your amazing art. All right. Okay, everybody stay well, keep reading.